Hello everyone, my name is Lumos Rain and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Today we are going to be getting, well today we're finally going to be going to the um, statue here, the little statue of Meridia and doing, and giving her back the beacon to, well, complete the quest, obviously, but yeah, I think I'm, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna do that this video, and also um, get do the blood chalice thing for this, and of course my vampire boils and said, Look, that's been happening to me. A, well, that's been happening to me a lot this whole entire video. Well, since since I last um, since we left off. Because last video when we left off, I was a vampire. I just became a vampire lord. And I sort of have been, have to been, have been having to deal with the entire time. Speaking of which, let me just go ahead and favorite all my all my stamina potions because I know I'm already going to need a bunch of stamina. Let me see. Yeah. If I run out of them, that's going to be bad. Oh, so I'm probably gonna. Why do, why do I have dwarven bow? Favorite? That's the real question. Uh, I'm obviously gonna need to start unfavoriting stuff. Anyway, um. Perfect. Oh, what? Heard it. As you can tell, since it's daylight, my um, stuff is just abysmally slow. And of course, my thing went back into a spell. Now I think I'm, I'm good now. Just need to find a way to get to this beacon. I'll see y'all guys when I get there in a minute. Well, that didn't take long. There it is. The um, the beacon to Mer the statue to Meridia. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and just edit some things. Alright, so let me see. I'll never need that again. That can still be useful. That I hate right now. Um won't be needed. Won't be needed. Inferior, no. No, never need that. No, no. No. Now items. Um don't need the war axe. Don't need the bow. Those Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Okay then. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? I uh. Okay. I'm just gonna put the beacon here. Um, and now I'm floating. Yeah, this is going to be a weird video. It is time for my splendor to return to sky. Okay, um... But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. Oh, trust me. That is, trust me. Once I get in there, that is going to be the only... Defiles my shrine Retrieve my artifact and destroy the defile. Can you give me more information about this artifact? Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. Interesting. You will enter my shrine. 
destroy Malkorin and retrieve this mighty blade. With pleasure. This sounds good. I'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkorin destroyed. Malkorin has forced the door shut. But this is my temple and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple and its doors will open. Interesting. And now I'm falling down from the sky. Well, at least she didn't let me die. Alright, so... Um... Come on. Oh. Oh, oh there's the beacon. It's fine. Let me just find the... Okay, there's the entrance. I think I know what the situation calls for. <laughs> I think it's this be the perfect time to test this out. At least a real field test. Time to become the vampire. Perfect. Oh, wow, that, that's an amazing movement ability, by the way. I love it so much. Alright. Can I activate things as a vampire lord? Okay. I see what I need to do. I guess I gotta do, gotta keep my form. But whenever I'm about to, whenever I'm about to face combat, you just... Yep, I see someone up in that down there. Yes. Get destroyed, fools. Get destroyed. Let me see if I can get any more. Oh, I have two perk points. Um, okay. To be honest, I probably want to get the summon gargoyle. Like, that's what I really want. I want the ability to summon gargoyle. Because the gargoyle is like seems perfect. It's a conjure. I wonder if it'll attack me if I revert my form. Will it? Please don't. I swear if it. Oh, it doesn't go. Yep, my gargoyle. Buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. This is mine now. And so is the that. Okay. That's blocked off. Let's see if there's a there is always another path. And the ones, uh, they're the ones who are trying to start the confrontation. Idiots. I get it, I get it, I got it. Get him right beside me. And I gotta revert form again. That's gonna be the thing. I'm gonna be it's, the thing is I'm gonna have to keep reverting to and from my vampire form. This is gonna get annoying. Pretty fast. Plus. How does that sound so right? Orcus shield, I don't need a shield. It's garbage anyway. 
Or at least for my build. It's garbage. Because I don't use block. Alright. Time to fight. Crap. My gargoyle just shredded that fool. Oh. I'm actually kind of mad that I have to keep on referring my fool. Did it just leave? It just left. There, Shade Guy, have that. Right now, I'm about, you know. Now, realistically, I think we're about halfway into this. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good for this run through. Alright. Crap's an expert chest. What? I think I. Crap, I thought I had it. You know, the more experience I get with these locks. Okay, it's a little bit... Do you see that? Of course it just breaks. Okay, so I'm guessing it, I have a feeling I have someone in this section, or, yeah, about this section. Again, just keeps on breaking. <sighs> you think that I'd... Yeah, these are the reasons that I, that I have to spend all my money on lockpicks. I was so close, so it's definitely around here. Yeah, I'm just terrible at these things. And it... If I run out of lockpicks on this thing... Perfection. Okay, garnet, that, that... The invisibility spell, amazing. Uh, be honest... None of that interested me. Like, at all. I'm just here to get Dawnbreaker and leave. I just noticed the Bound Sword looks a lot like a Daedra Sword. I, Daedric Sword, I think. At least in my opinion. Now. Is there any? There's not. Hair Corruptive Shades have that. Okay, definitely do this thing. Oh, you fools, you're not out of the room, not there. I said it once and I'll say it again, my boy way too OP. Just way too OP. Desecrated. This is mine now. That play is also mine now. Oh, potion. Okay then. Oh. It's fighting it just fine. You get a bunch of gold from this death and like a lot more than that on Vampire Cave that I went to saying that I got a lot of gold from. I don't know what that lever does, but I know it does something good. So I hope it does something good. Oh, huh, a little treasure room. Okay, F be honest, 
If I would have failed this, but passed the... Okay, perfect. That made up for the lockpick that I broke. Battle of Red Mountain. Oh, okay. It's a skill book. And that iron helmet is just... useless to me right now. And another quartz. And more gold. Alright. Looks like there's about to be a bunch of them. Go, actually. You know, I need to start naming my action on. I'll name him. You know, we'll, we'll think about a name when it, once we get out of here. Now this should get interesting. I'm ready. Honestly, I think I'm about to enter a boss fight. Yeah, it looks like a boss fight, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn into the vampire lord. <laughs> My Atronox is like, okay, that just happened. Oh. Well. I'm gonna invert my form real quick. because yeah I truly do call a replay on that and you know what I'm just not even gonna go in there take an action off Just let it take the beating. Get the red one out. Auto take pop shots. Just let me heal first, like my word. 
Let me see what this dude had. Let's see what the shade had. What is not? Yeah, ghostly roommate. This is mine now. These desecrated corpses have a lot of gold on them. That's what I've noticed. It looks like a... It looks like kind of... It looks kind of like they're... I think they're all Imperial soldiers is what I'm seeing. looked a lot better. And we're in the sky again. Malcolm is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it you put me in the sky and I don't This is because of you. Yeah, it was tough. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Interesting. But Take like... the mighty Dawnbreaker. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. Definitely. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. And I'm dying again. Why not? At least, at least she isn't gonna give me a cheap death. Okay, so let's let's find it. Where? Burns for 12 points and went killing them. Yeah! Oh my word, that looks amazing. Like, absolutely stunning. Time to go ahead and do this um, vampire quest now. Let me just find it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm now a member of both the, um, I'm the member of the Dark Brotherhood and working towards becoming a member of the Thieves Guild. Now, let me go ahead and, yep, Bloodstone Chalice, found it on the map, at the Redwater Den, that is near Riften, I'll head over to Riften, and do what I need to do. There, it's infamous for producing moon sugar, which can be refined in the skooma. Interesting. Infamous though. Is Skimma like illegal or something? Okay, I'm not gonna steal a horse. I may buy one. Where in the world is the dude that sells? You're too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Don't mind too if you do. Lazy? What's your price? Uh, so that's a free She's all yours. She's already saddled up. Good. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. How do you find me in these weird locations? That's the real question. Let's see here. Now there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage at Riften. Good. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like Too bad, I've already adopted a child. Yeah, I adopted a child. Anyway. Let's ride into the sunset. Wow, you're... Of course, I get attacked by a random skeever. Anyway, let me see where, where I need to be going. Yeah, I'm in the right place. Stupid little skeever. Nice. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Riften, I, I think Riften's like, um, Stormcloak territory, so I might want to be careful. Because I, th I don't know if I'm going to side with the Stormcloaks during the main quest. I don't know who I'm going to side during the main quest. I haven't even thought about the main quest at all, really. I'm just going to leave that dude alone and let him do his thing. Actually, you know what? Nah. Let's see what we'll this dude's doing. You can't hide from me. He's busy, I guess. Um. Well, let's go. Can't hide from me. All right, it's time. I guess we should name our horse. Um, I'll name him Derek. Yes, Derek. I don't know why. Just random name thought of him first in my head. Anyway, let's ride right on to the sunset, Derek. Cool. Well, actually, no sunset. Let's, let's ride out into the night. <laughs> let's ride out in the dark. Uh, another bear. Keep going, Mike. Oh, no, my, no, I'm, I'm my character's here. And there's the wind. Do I need to get out the burn? Yep, I do. Yeah, I feel nice. Wow. I'm actually impressed. My horse can actually fight. That wool just caught those horses' hands. Alright, I'm gonna need this horse to stay here. Mind yourself with that fire. Don't burn anything down now. Okay, you 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 just sounded stupid. Let's just go in here nice and quietly. And plus it may give me experience may, may give me a, a chance to use my new Dawnbreaker sword, which by the way. Beautiful, beautiful sword. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. You, I'm the last person you need to be worrying about, but... And what mm. what why do I need why is everybody coughing? Don't like those eyes you got. Your skin's as pale as the snow. Are you scared of sunlight or something? Fine. Oh. Suit yourself. It's just a a con venue. Go on downstairs. You're bothering me. Bruh, I'm not even worried about you. I'm more worried about getting where I need to go. Need something? There, good, I'm hidden. Because I might need to stay hidden in order to pick this lock. Of course I break. Of course it breaks on the first try. Aw, oh, crap, again, it breaks. Don't you always love it when your locks, lock, when your picks break? multiple times, no matter how hard you try. Thank God. This. Huh? Oh, come on. Of course. Y'all have this weird thing about attacking your own people. Well, I'm not having them. Okay.
It'd be a lot. Honestly, I would believe it a lot more if these were like traitors to the to the to Harkin and his people. Cause that would make a lot more sense. Well, that would make a lot of sense actually. That's probably what it is. I mean, this is not my favorite sword in the game. Just because of the aesthetic of the light. Is someone there? <laughs> You're a Going to Red Water, Red Water Spring now. Now this is probably the biggest thing with this. Well, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but I'm, hold up. I need to start taking these. And, like, you know what? Nah. Like just take these and start reading them. But yeah, I wouldn't. That just seems too boring. I usually just check those in case they could possibly be um, skill books. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, my, um, my astronaut is just busted. Now, once I'm able to make a frost, no, yeah, frost astronauts. Are you kidding me? What? Am I just... Give me my fast heal right now. It's like, this is getting ridiculous. Now I get back my astronaut. Just vampire to know I'm gonna face Draugr. Nope. There's a the mask. There's the, there's the boss. Oh, me.
real question now is, where do I go? See how much I'm already my glass has? I can tell which one's better. Cause honestly, elven arm. Yeah, I'm keeping my own conjuring stuff. I mean, let's be real. I'm not gonna. It is a good thing that I took that key. There. Oh, it's really too bad, you know. The little accident you had here. Completely unexpected. Yeah, too bad. Lord Hartman's new favorite. Dead so soon after joining the family. We're just lucky I was here to return the chalice to Bengalmo so we could make sure Hartman gets it back. Wait, what? That's not what we agreed. We take it back together. Idiot. You didn't really think I'd let you walk out of here, I did you? Then Gamo wants you both again. Well, that's just fine. Ortyong told me to finish off anyone who got in the way. Never should have come. Alright then. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and just forget that ever happened, because that's just, I'm just confused, like, what? Where does it, where, where is it, where is actually the thing that I just took? Hmm? 
Alright, I'm going to see y'all guys when I get back to the um, thing. Um, see you in a minute. Oh, coming right up here there. that um the vampires are definitely an interesting faction to side with for this main quest. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheol both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you, and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Alright then. You wanted to speak with me, Lord Harkin? Yes, yes I, did. I did. When I, I told you that, that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. As expect I expected that. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun, and until recently it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest, those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Okay. Well... Let's go. Science of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion. I think my father wanted to see you. Have you talked to him yet? That's a long story. I guess we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She it was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Alright, Most interesting. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? 
Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd like to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. But they the wizards good. know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Perfect. All right, let's see what you have. What, what damage does her dagger? 17. First, I'll have to give her some armor. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't have, I'm not wearing my elven boots right now, actually. video when in the next video we're going to look for the mock priest and stuff like that and yeah i am above the petty squabbles okay. here anyway i'll see you all in the next video my name is almost range and goodbye